Hovrangers, it seems you've found your car. Do you like? One of the things with the, these old hardtops is that uh, getting the windows to roll up and down properly and, met, uh, and match up nicely with the ones on the doors can be a bit of a challenge and I thought it might be fun to uh, see how this all works while the quarter panel is cut off the car. So basically you've got a regulator and a track and the, uh, and the window itself. And, uh, it all sits in, in this area here. And so I thought uh, maybe an interesting uh, thing to see that you never get to see because usually there's a quarter panel on the car. And it's actually uh, quite interesting engineering that makes all this stuff work. So I thought for fun I would uh, clean up and uh, service all of the window regulator mechanism and we'll put a glass in it and see if we can make it all fit and match up against the, uh, against the door. So let's give that a go. I'm going to clean up these pieces first. Here's a quick look at the uh, piece that holds the glass in. And uh, it looks like this uh, rubber is not really helping us very much anymore. But nevertheless, it shouldn't make any difference for what we're trying to achieve. All right, let's clean this guy up too. That looks pretty poor. What is this feature called? Will it roll up? Yeah, yeah. We've will done it all wind? The ones. What? Will it wind? Will it Probably, wind? Yeah. I like it. We'll have More to make alliteration there. This is like a double. Is that some double roller it's a double thing? wheel. Two of them. Are you gonna clean those up or? Uh, fuck it. You should probably clean them up. Yeah, we gotta clean some them Windex up. or Christ. something. Look at this one's got a chunk out of it. That's bad news. What's that one for? That doesn't look like it works too hard. Yeah. I think the other 80% of it will carry the load. Bigger. It'll I have to. <laughs> It'll have to. It's gonna have to now. I haven't got all day. Okay, there's the clippies. Oh, the clips you saved. Yeah. Good. Hey, see? I thought we, well, ooh. Somebody, look at that guy, eh? Well, that one's in poor shape. Corrosion. What do you think? You got, you're the uh, engineer. You sign off. Yeah, yeah there's you a couple it. hanging. There's a couple right. adjacent ones that I think could right. uh, do, do the job. Yeah, yeah that's good. I All think right. that third one, or fourth, is probably what redundant. Bend, bend it in? No, no, don't bend it at all. It's, uh, you don't think we could preload these other three a bit? Yeah, the only thing saving it is that it hasn't been touched. You've got one more install oh, on it before it just that's, gives that's up. So janky, eh? Yeah, I'd like to pretend, but... Holy shit, I've never seen such a big jug of Lucas stop leak. Yeah, you, don't own a, you don't own a 49 Fraser. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the next step's like a that's, barrel or something. Yeah, that's, <laughs> or you that's, fill that jug out of the barrel well, in the other shop. Uh, that's right. That's oh, like a wow. season. That's a season's worth, that's a season's worth of oil pressure. Yeah, I mean, uh, it says stop leak. I wow. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Oh wow! I hit the second S on the oil pressure gauge yesterday. Jeez, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's an excellent additive for worn engines. Ding. I'm actually at the point where I'm running about 30 percent. Wow, higher higher oil pressure, less Ding. oil consumption, less yeah. blow by. Holy All shit! All of which is good. <laughs> okay, the, the Lucas additive fills the space between the worn parts. Fills the meaningless in your life. <laughs> I'm not even pushing very hard, really. Like, it wouldn't be the first time that something broke when you were trying to clean it up to make it one percent better. Instead, oh, yeah. you made it a hundred percent garbage. <laughs> so you try and simulate how it uh, feels when a window is on it, you know, because if it's that dainty, you don't want it just blowing out in a yeah. some sort of a high load window event or something. <laughs> a drive through. A high or... load window event. <laughs> Like in a provincial park or whatever, when like a bear comes to attack a car, you just kind of roll it up with a bear's head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah bear's it, paw on the top. Bear, yeah, right? that was the standard. Yeah. All those old Canada park films with people feeding the bears in the windows. Oh the yeah. Yeah, this car probably seen hey, a bit of that. Good old bear to black bear, just like taking the country square. <laughs> Yeah, they're just laughing. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. funny story about those yeah. scratches. A bear yeah, put them on. And then there's a bear on the roof. Just yeah. Ripping into the old Samsonite. Yeah. 
I almost think we should clean this up too. We can't put this. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Cut. Great. Well, let's have a before shot. There we go. Let's see here. What's the fastest way to clean that? Razor blade and glass cleaner. What about all the shit off the bottom? Though? Oh, all that. I want the aluminum or cast to look nice. Like a wire brush, but like a brass wire brush. Oh, a okay. gentle one. Oh, scotch okay. bright. Okay. What do you think? Scotch bright and whatever's right in front of me? Yeah, that might work. Looks pretty light duty, like a, like a tree gunk or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's not going to The pad be... won't be working too hard. So this is a gray, gray scotch. Oh, nice. And yeah, call me a bit of a first world country, but I really, one of my uh, guilty pleasures is running the air conditioning with the windows down. Oh, yeah. So man. nice, you get yeah. fresh air and cold air. <laughs> Fuck it, who cares? People right. say, oh, your fuel economy. Well, what kind of fuel economy are you, is the air compressor? It's not going to make any noticeable difference. You're pushing like 5,000 pounds down the road. Oh, yeah, cooling a small amount of air. Like, your fridge runs 24-7. Nobody bitches about that. Yeah, like, that's right. It's not considered decadent to have a cool yeah. morning. <laughs> Mine runs 24 yeah. hours a day to keep food cold that my ex-wife left there. So <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want that pasta sauce to <laughs> perish on I you. Want, I, never, I might want a fucking veggie burger one day. Yeah. They're just frosted in. <laughs> Locked in time like a There's dinosaur. Nothing. Look at their steel wool. Yeah. Fine oh, steel wool for the fine. glass and for the stainless. Glass and stainless. That's well, good. That'll clean up the rest of the way once it's in. Yeah, nice. just the way that this is all designed, eh? Just yeah, those linkages are yeah. sweet, eh? So that... Yeah, because it hooks down and curves around, and yeah. Yeah, it, it, uh, I think it pulls back and then folds down like this, and then I think. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that it's going here, right? Oh, yeah. If that's little, the case... Those lousy little roller things, there. Eh? Well, that has to go there. Okay. Not really any other option, right? Yeah. Right. I wonder what these mystery holes are. So they gotta have something to do with the roller thing. Oh, the arm? This guy here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and all that holds these on is clips. White lithium, right? Just on everything as we go. Ow. Man, that'll be nice. Uh, that's kind of cool. You never get to see in here. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic in here. It's just a uh, wheel house the inside mm -hmm. of a quarter. Mm -hmm. One of those things that you never see, but it, yeah, you're not really missing out on anything. Yeah. Well, there's the roof bracing. That'll all. It's gonna be so easy to weld all that now. Yeah. All right, we'll cut away until we're done lubing here. That's got to be an old tube. It's got an oh, old yeah. font. It's an old, early, early model. Oh, good. I have no idea. Or vintage not. car. We'll do it on here, I guess. Take it a bit in those gear teeth. Yeah. And yeah, we'll have to just come down it that way. Well, it Everything will get it. Draw right? it in, yeah. And these will have to just oil. I don't think this grease is going to quite do it. A little bushing appears to be in good shape. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. The whole uh, pile of it seems good. All right, let's cycle it one time here. Yeah, all lubed up, ready to, ready to go so, to work. Especially watching this front wheel or a yeah, pivot roller come down this is like so the front of the window starts by kind of coming back and down very slowly while the back kind of ducks out of the way and then they start to both come down and then the front right here starts swinging down really fast while this one's so this one's 
curling back and out of the way and it tucks and then it comes to a stop there. Isn't that cool? Okay. Oh, nice. Fingers across. Uh -huh. Okay, snappy. Oh yeah. Snappy. Oh grab yeah, yeah, that's the shittier one. Good. Yeah. Good. Grab the shittier out of the two. <laughs> you got confidence that, that guy's gonna <laughs> not a lot. This is a test fly. Oh yeah, no, it should be okay. It's yeah, gonna... she'll, she'll come around. Uh here goes. Mm. Oh, that one. We could tighten oh, wow. those up. But I'm not gonna get crazy because I might I'm probably gonna take all this off again because I've got to weld there. Oh so yeah. This all to work though. So when we put the quarter on we know first of all we know that we're safe here because that does get close. Past Don't the, be fooled. Is right. a, a oh, a yeah. deep roll and a yeah. A regular roll. That's what I was trying to get it sneak I it past think, everything. What if that's got to just be in first. Can that just go in like that though? Or are oh, we it's close? Yeah. Okay. Good call. There we go. You should go to one of those schools where they teach you how about making machines and stuff. Oh, that'd be nice. You yeah. Of, you heard of them places where they do that? Man, what a miserable existence that uh, assembly line work would be. Yeah. Just like, oh man. Eight hours of quarter windows? Oh yeah. Remember those guys who got busted for getting really drunk at lunch or whatever? <laughs> I was like, wouldn't fucking you? Yeah, how could you not? They yeah. got them on camera, they'd drive out to this park and just get fucked. They'd hammer like six beers for <laughs> 40 minutes and, get, and smoke like three joints and then uh, whistle back to the factory. So you'd get this sort of experience here with assembly. Yeah. Oh, sure, right? These guys would just be fucking hammed, eh? Get it back in the game. Yeah. And sitting dormant for, yeah, yeah, for 40, well, 50 years. And you years. know what? If we tighten some of these screws now, I think we've got everything roughly where it needs to be. And I think if we start. Oh, yeah. It's just binding because it's got no choice. Yeah, exactly. Because nothing's rigid. There's no spine to the structure. If I'm two degrees off a square, that will never move. Look at it. If I hold it square. Ah. That's what it is. Look, it's preloaded. It's a little bit out of square. Oh, so you just gotta get things tight, maybe. Seems kind of bindy, eh? Well, it's when you look at it, at some point here, yeah, like it's pulling so hard this way. Yeah. See? Oh, that it's tweaking the whole system. So what system. I think we should do is actually just preload this. Grease it heavy on this side. Where's the grease? This is the test right here. Oh yeah, it's going fine now. Look at ah. that. Isn't that cool? It slides ahead like that. <laughs> well, now she. See, it gets pretty fast in through here. Oh, what's that? Why is it? Why is it just catching? Look at this. See, now watch this. Ah, oh, there we go. It's still this. Ah. It's the same problem. Not going well, it went forwards a bit. Yeah. I mean, you're barely touching that to bring it up. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a lot smoother now. Ooh. Pretty consistent, actually, for being just thrown in there. Oh, look at that. It went down. You need to get like some sort of a uh, factory Plymouth. Like, uh, I'm sure they did tests on these window regulators in the oh, yeah, yeah, in 59 or whatever. Over over. Yeah, yeah, it probably did that about, oh, three to 5,000 times yeah. or whatever. Before it broke. Yeah. yeah. 
I bet you this is the most times it's been used probably ever. Oh yeah. That is a treat now. But I don't should... think we could really make that much better. It actually rolls down better when you're pushed against it a bit. Oh, okay. It'll oh, have, it's really it'll smartened have up. Yeah, it just drops down like yeah. that. Yeah. It's pretty close. I still think that this needs to come ahead a bit. That's uh, pretty good for it. Yeah, I mean, for not really getting too crazy yet. Are you on the far side of adjustment now, or you just schlubbed her down a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, three quarters of the way down oh, okay. the back, more or less in the middle at the front. Oh, there, look at You can just adjust it. Just adjust the stops a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's parallel, so that's fine. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. That's we cool. Haven't, haven't had glass in that for a while. Oh, look at that, eh? What was this guy? And, and let's go. Oh, it just went really blurry for some reason. I don't know if it's the battery or something, but... Is it out of focus? Uh, it was, but it refocused, so... It looks good here. Yeah, it looks Pop good right on the here. outside. Pop right in with a thing. That's oh, cool. Nice it just forward. slides back and out of the way. Yeah. That's sweet. Alright. Well, good. On to the next. Cheers. Ooh, well that wasn't too bad. Not too terrible. Apart from, yeah, hardest part is just finding all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know, I haven't understood your organizational system oh yet. So it's just, uh, just, I don't know, it's it's certainly not alphabetical, but uh, I don't know, sort of alphanumeric or... Just, it's, just, it's irrational numbers. <laughs> The next step here is to remove the last of the uh, Dodge quarter panel that's still stuck on that lip there. And then we will start uh, doing a little more uh, careful, I guess, fit of the uh, of the Plymouth quarter. And when we're happy with it, uh, I'm going to uh, get ready, get closer to welding the uh, the two halves together. And uh, I'm going to tack everything together and then build the quarter off the car and then put it on the car. That's kind of the goal. So give me a chance to clean up in there, fix there, finish. i got to put all this together yet. This is uh, looking pretty decent in here now. Pretty happy about that. So still some prep to do here. Da -da -da -da, whatever. And of course, still the, the splice to finish there, but that's... Uh, all the hard work's done there, it's just plain shit work now. Okay, so more drilling welds. Thought I was done, but you're never really done. Okay, as we start to get a little fussier about the location of this stuff, one of the reasons I don't uh, overly clean any of this is that there's usually a pretty reliable footprint, as in right there, of where that was located on the previous chassis. So, rather than here is where it sits if you just let it flop there. So it's a small change but I'm going to uh, actually screw that down right there and uh, with this lip cut out of the way the quarter panel is probably going to sit up probably a hundred thou higher than it was when we were just screwing around here so uh, I think that's a uh, that's the uh, the next step 
to uh, fitting this up. So I'm going to screw that down and then we're going to put the put the yellow quarter back on and see how she goes. Okay, first light toss of quarter on there. Um, so pretty happy with that. Uh, the biggest problem is that we've got a, an old dent here. You can see that was all caved in when it was on the other car. So I kind of just banged it quickly out, but uh, it's still there. So it's going to affect how this goes together. But it's all going to have to just get hammered flat when we're done anyway. Or rather hammered round, I guess. Not too worried about anything below there because I will probably be using uh, the front of this guy. The trick is making it all blend together. Making the pieces isn't even too bad, it's making it all actually fit. Mm. Anyway, uh, so far so good, whatever. Actually uh, fitting, fitting really well. And uh, just the, this little dent in the yellow panel is the problem, but I'm going to weld it up and that'll make it easier to, to get the dent out. I mean, it's, it's, you can't really see it, but it's in there somewhere. Kind of, yeah, right along here. Just, there's the bottom of it right there. All right. There. Okay, uh, the front is just tacked in. It's just kind of sanded till the edges meet and then tacked in. And, uh, you know, it's close enough. Well, uh, I want it off the car when I weld it just so it's easier to kind of keep after it as it distorts because there's going to be so much, right? And then we're going to cut this whole thing out of here. Uh, we, we need to get all of that needs to get fixed. So this is the first rough tossing on of the third of the three pieces on this side. Uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, the most adjustment is naturally going to be where the two uh, panels or where the three panels join each other. Uh, that would require some fine tweaking that I'm not going to attempt until the thing is laying on its back on a bench. I, uh, I may have to do that pretty soon as I can't do a ton more welding until this is um, exactly where I want it and if I start welding too much it's just going to start warping so you almost have to weld and hammer it as you go which is fine that's how it's done uh, anyway that's uh, it's exciting though I mean that thing hasn't been on been, been whole in a long time so Pretty, uh, pretty excited to have it this far. Still a lot of work though, a lot. You can see that it is fitting up for the most part quite nicely. The biggest thing is it has to line up and fit the molding. I've had that rear panel on there probably 15 times already today before I put a tack to it. So. It'll just get better uh, as we uh, uh, chase the chase the remaining inaccuracies out of it as we go. So, uh, long term, as in the next couple of weeks, if I get the quarter panels sorted out, the rest of the car will go fairly quickly. Uh, it's going to need some floor repair, but not much. And the fender on this side is pretty poor as well. Uh, you know, just, <clears throat> there's, there's a lot to do, but whatever, I'm just happy about having got this far, so, I'm going to carry on. And so now I'm going to take the quarter skin off and set it up on a table so that it's a little easier to weld and hammer on at the same time, and I also have to uh, get a little more serious about installing the rear clip on this car. All of the yellow rear clip is really just thrown on with a couple of screws. So if we're going to get serious about fitting this quarter, we have to actually 
have the uh, have the yellow rear end uh, installed on the car. So I'm gonna get uh, busy on that, and uh, we'll see how this looks once we get it all off the car here. There it is laid out. So just a, a lot of welding to do now. A lot of welding, a lot of grinding, and uh, a lot of fitting. It's just, it looks not bad from 10 feet away, but you get up and all those corners have to line up. So still a few things to tidy up. Uh, I don't mind saying the hours are <laughs> starting to become noticeable in this panel. Uh, there, there have been some, some minutes of time passing as we play with this. And is it time for another episode of Shit Work? Today's episode of Shit Work is brought to you by all of the tar sound deadener that they sprayed on the insides of these cars. And it makes it very difficult to uh, body work or weld, so it's all got to come off. And uh, there's, probably, there's probably a hundred ways to get it off, but the shittiest way is to scrape it off with a little flat screwdriver, so that's the way we've chosen. So, the technique. There's the I'm going to try. Uh, I'm gonna try a bigger scraper, but I don't think so. the stuff is stuck on there so well that I suspect that a bigger putty knife will just get stuck. But you never know, that screwdriver is not very sharp either. Okay, we're back. We're back. which is just nice and dry, just becomes a big disgusting mess. So I'm quite content to have it take a little longer and not have any cleanup time. Still got to build that corner when we're done here. The last little corner of the quarter. Once I uh, get this guy, got to get all this nice and then that'll be just like dessert. Dean! Where's Dean? <laughs> Poor Dean, he never gets any of the sweet jobs. Well, I decided to hang the uh, quarter panel up and just uh, weld it suspended to allow me to access the back of the panel easily and uh, so that the, it wasn't sitting funny on the table because I think if I welded it sitting on the table, it would, uh, it would not have the right shape when I was done, just because it didn't sit very nicely. So anyway, it's going well. It's just tedious, right? Just weld, 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 weld. And then uh, once it's welded out, we'll grind it all, and then we're gonna start hammering it till it's nice and true. Uh, stuff's starting to fit up better than it was, so I'm not disappointed. Um, you can see the inside of the panel is uh, easy to get at. I got all the uh, sound deadener off of there and uh, not disappointing. Coming along fairly well considering that it is a pretty gigantic welding job. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really rewarding to see this go back on the car. Okay, we're taking the back of the Plymouth body off live. 
alive. <laughs> uh, I hope Tom's still here. Hang on, let's see if we can get it to. I won't even I turn it on. Uh, but you said you had some pictures of me in, in what? Uh, in what? In some of the. Oh sure, you're in some of them. Well, where's my royalties for fuck's sake? Huh? Yeah, what kind of royalties Jesus you want? Christ, they ain't good line. Oh, there's so many screws. Uh, I thought you said three fucking screws. Well, three seventeen. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't count. That's right. <laughs> this is a contract position. Oh, you have to fuck. stick around until we're done. You gotta stick around. There's no getting out of the clock. This one takes off. This one takes off. Famous last fucking words. Why won't that come off? I see a couple. I'll get them. Yeah, the slowest thing here is my knees. Okay, is this screwed down? Yeah, I think it's still welded in there, isn't it? Uh, no. The yellow part is not welded to anything. It's just sitting on there. Oh my god. How the fuck are you gonna do this ten years from now? Oh I'm not. I'm gonna be with you and you fucking sell all this crappy old rusty shit. And then we'll get some fucking big bags of cocaine and well, that'll hookers. Keep you going for about a fucking week. That's why. <laughs> what more do you want? That's well, it. Well, what more do you need, buddy? <laughs> It's gonna have to kill you in a week. Oh, it will. <laughs> oh, it will. Buddy. Well, that's the fucking challenge, right? <laughs> It's a new feature, eh? Tonight on Dealer's Choice. Dealer's Choice. Uh, a closer look at the dealer cars of the 80s. No, don't tell me. It doesn't work? This is one of those little 280s. What? Bullshit, what's that? That's the, got a, that's the base. Oh, it's got a, hang on, let me get it in there. It's like a touch thing? Yeah, it's so fucking awesome. <laughs> oh my god. But you, it's a fucking cool And what brand is it? That's an Alpine. That's like an Iron. That's the factory. Whoa. There's the old treble. I just fucking love it. Balance. Oh, crazy. You know what I mean? No kidding, wow. And really, it, uh, in its day, Ooh. Can you play? Yeah, I Just so. play it. You'll have to only listen to this tape as long as you own the car. I hope it's good. I don't know. Uh, the 20 greatest Christmas 20 songs. 20 Christmas songs? Uh, 1976. Oh, that? I thought you bought, like, no, no, no. fucking only, Fleetwood only, Mac and that's shit. That's the only bad one. Look, I got Full Moon. Guess who? That's that's a good one. That's a good one? Yeah. Look at who, Exile yeah. on Main Street. Okay, we'll put this in. Well, I can't. Well, we're gonna. <laughs> I'm getting a what's knife. This, what's this right here? This hey. Those are the flashlights. Oh, cool. What? BMW flashlights. That's what came with the car. Sure, that that is fucking. I've big never, big. I've never seen a oh, car that came with flashlights. Standard. Where do you operating. plug them in, though? Well, that right here. Is that? A, oh no. I, there I should be know. something. Yeah, they should have. They do. Oh, I just don't know where. It's in there. 
There. Maybe that's why the cruise doesn't work. There. I just plugged they it in. Yeah. Double as a fuse. Open the open the uh, whatever the German term for bonnet the, is. Uh, das Hut. These flip ahead, don't they? Oh, ho, ho. What? Well. Um. So there's your carburetors. Yeah. What is it? A whopping 190 horsepower or something? It's not very. Oh, well, really? Yeah. That's still pretty good, good though. Really? I would think that that would feel pretty zippy. It's okay once you once you get it going. But, but you got a can down it? low. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty late. You're just used to the freezer. Well, that's what everybody used to say is the 325s were, were faster than these things, more or less. The 325 was the six-cylinder car. Mm. Yeah. Can I open that? Yeah, sure. But uh, so was this a homologation car? Was this a car they had to make X number of so that they could race them? I think so. Yeah, back in like yeah. uh, it 500 looks, or that, something. It has to look like that, right? Like how many of these did they actually the make? Of yeah, I don't First, know. like. There's lots of drug storage. In yeah, I don't know. Really? I don't know. <laughs> now we come to the car's primary well, purpose. Jack's missing. There's drugs in there. Oh yeah, yeah drugs, the drugs, washer, bottle, drugs, 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 car cover, yes. probably drugs. Put your drugs in there. <laughs> and you know you'll. You keep a low profile like this, and, <laughs> and like, hey, the trunk, like I want to tools. arrest you, and I'm not even a cop. Oh, wait a minute, we we have we have tools. So you just gotta cool. catch it. It's like uh, it's like a fishing game at the mall. Oh, come on, she'll come. It's cool. Do you want a hook or something? No. Do you want a hooker? I Get it? I haven't done it. I haven't done this in uh, what? Oh, <laughs> all right. There's nothing really to bring back the '80s nostalgia, like fishing your tapes uh, out of the out of the <laughs> cassette deck. Come or, on, fuck. come on, she'll be fine. Well, we're just talking. Like, what would you, if you bought this car new? What purpose would these serve uh, other than trying out cassettes? Yeah, it's mostly a stereo kit. I don't know. You could. Uh, Round some bolts off. You could round off the brake lines, I guess, in an emergency. <laughs> you know where you buy it? It is pretty tidy. It is. Yeah. The whole thing's pretty tidy. Like, this is not a greasy car. Oh, okay. So it's like the real. Other than in the metaphorical sense. Oh, first bugs of the year, whatever that is. I like Cold War Motors for the nature parts. Little, little le less cassetti. I'm, I'm trying not to film the big polished fucking tower bracket thing. I know. I'm trying not to. come off. I mean, I, I honestly, you know what I mean? No, like, it's got to come off. I agree. Well, you only, there's yeah, only I six agree. bolts. Six like, right get at it. Yeah. You want to do it tonight? Right now. Actually. Well, did you get it? I think so. Yeah. I think. Let's do it. Is this happening? Directed by Paul. A Paul joint. Yeah, fucking whistle. Watch. You know what I want to happen? You pop it off and the thing goes. <laughs> Get off of there. Did I lose it? Huh? Huh? Did you lose oh, it? No, no, you bought a no. white 80s BMW. I'd say you lost it. Uh, all right. That looks much better there. And that looks much better. Let go on the Fraser? <laughs> hey, we should put it on the Fraser. That'll tighten her up. That's a good idea. Exile? Exile. If you're going to get stuck with one cassette in your car. It's a pretty good one to get stuck with. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's hear it. Yes! She's back in business. Sweet. Okay, what are we doing? Banging the Plymouth uh, flange. The flange looks like it should. Yeah. We're gonna last face straight down. We're gonna straighten that out. So.
Okay, is that flange sorted out then? I think so. I don't know, where'd we leave off? Looks like that's all straightened out. Welded the uh, roof post to the wheelhouse. And that's uh, just way easier with the quarter off. All the, all the mating surfaces are clean and ready to go. Clean, clean. Top of the fin, clean. So, we're gonna, because I have semi-willing volunteer. Okay. Lay it on his back. Everything's pretty fine. Um, it's pretty minor. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Ready? Ready to wash the window at all times. <laughs> One part of the car I care about. The rest of it can be replaced. Oh, what a good girl. Nice catch, Frank or Franks. You having a nice day, Frankers? Pretty fun, hey? Don't wreck your nice haircut, please. Well, here's the quarter panel after a certain amount of welding and hammering. And it's coming along well. Uh, I'm not going to have it back in the car at the end of this video, but uh, it's going to be close. And uh, so, not really anything to worry about at this point. Is uh, we avoided any real disasters. The area that was not fitting well has really come back to life with some hammering. And uh, yeah, very content with that. Still have to finish the back, and a little bit of rust there, but whatever. That's all small change. Uh, yeah, overall very happy with it. Some um, little more work than I thought to get this out, but uh, very content with the way it came out. And it should go on the car and look like nothing ever happened, so I'd like to see that be uh, back on the car here. Uh, Soon enough. You know, let's take a picture of it like that. All right. Next up here is to trim this corner up, make that look good, put that guy in there, and then build a piece of the trunk. And this side really substantially better, so very little to worry about here. More or less, just going to hammer all that back down on the original welds. Boom, done, fitting really quite well. Very happy for not even really having tried too hard yet. So, and still, you know, that's not an insubstantial amount of work to, to mount it yet. So, I'd like to see that looking like a car again in a reasonable amount of time. So, let's get busy. This is a regular ah, Same old shit.
Thank you.